video, I'm going to show you how to make these notifications and these alerts look a lot better in your Rails application. And so right now it's just calling some default ones and also has this big ugly bar right below it. So we're going to fix that in this episode. So uh, open up your Nitrous and go down the terminal. And as always, let's create this on a branch. So we're going to do git check out dash b and say alerts and so we're on that new branch and you may have noticed in previous videos that uh, I don't uh, send the code up to the git repository on the video I actually am doing it as soon as I'm done recording uh, that's the only way that you get each one of the uh, code repositories at that specific version um, so you can download it so I am doing that I'm just not re recording it so that we're not making the videos extra long uh, every once in a while I'll do it just so you kind of get in a habit of remembering how to push up and how to merge branches but uh, if you have any questions about it either leave them in the comments or go look at one of the first few videos when I showed how to do that in depth so uh, anyway we're back on our branch and our new alert branch and so the way that you customize these is you come up to the application and right here we kind of have these two standalone ones and we're going to get rid of these these are just there for a little bit uh, and now we're going to add our nice ones so we're going to put this inside an if statement so put your usual uh, embedded ruby block and say if flash and then give brackets and say notice and the brackets and in the statement and uh, let's embed or um, indent this and put it in a div and so say div class equals in uh, quotes alert alert success and then we'll say button type equals button class equals close data uh, dismiss equals alert and all that's doing is adding a button so the alerts can actually be closed and then we'll give it the little X sign and the way you do that in HTML is you give it an ampersand times and then a semicolon and then close out that button and right below the button, we will, it'll actually be on the side, but in terms of the code, it's going to be below. And now we embed the actual call. And so we say flash brackets colon notice. And then end that. And that's what's actually going to do all the hard work. And then we'll close out the div and indent it properly. Okay, I believe this is it. And so now we're going to add a few else if statements. And the way you do that in Ruby, if you've never done that before, is you just do else if, but you don't have an E after the S. It may take you a little while to get used to that, or at least it did for me. Because um, some other languages use else if with the E included, and um, some do E L I F, but Ruby does else if without the e. and so uh, we're saying else if flash air and so we're calling the air like that and we're just gonna copy and paste this because I don't think you guys really want to watch me type the exact same thing for the most part the only difference is we're gonna give it a different color so instead of success now it's gonna say air and let's see everything else well, this needs to be air, obviously, as well. Um, okay, everything else is going to be the same on that. And then we're just going to add one more else if statement. So now do the same thing. And uh, since we're down here, let's also add our end. Okay. And now on this one, this one isn't going to be air. This is going to be alert. And 
there and then on this we're just going to leave it at alert which is the bootstrap uh, this class is a call to the bootstrap style and that's what dictates the color okay let me review this just really quick and make sure that this is all good we have alerts errors those are matching up okay this should work so hit save come down the bottom start up the rails server and let's open it up okay you can see right away it fixed that ugly bar from showing up so that means that that's working and now let's click sign in so we'll sign in and first we're going to call one of the blocks that should show an error so i'm going to give a bad email and a bad password and hit sign in oh it can't be that bad i guess uh the just so you know how that happened uh, because we tell rails that this is an email form uh, or an email field by default it puts in some html validation and so that's why it just gave that error so click sign in now and now you can see we have a much better looking uh, block up here and so it says invalid email or password so that told us something right off the bat and now if we go in with a good one hit sign in and there you go signed in successfully and that looks a million times better and it also has some JavaScript in there so if you come over here to the right hand side you can actually click out of it and it clears that alert away so uh, good job if you went through the tutorial you know now know how to create a lot better looking notices and alerts and error messages, calling the bootstrap uh, style classes and also connecting those with the built-in Rails notification system. So please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next episode.